Well, colleagues, that was fun. Um, Senate Bill 411 on its face is a policy change. We've had a lot of conversation about numbers from, from DCBS. As the good senator from Springfield said, what they can give us is estimates. What we know is what the experience has been in other states. The, the birthday gentleman, the good senator from uh, San Diem, pointed out that 38 other states have this stacking coverage. Why, colleagues, would we choose to be one of just 12 states that leave our constituents less protected than the people in 38 other states? In those 38 other states, individuals are still purchasing insurance. Insurance has not become unaffordable to them because they have this stacking provision. Senator Beyer, or uh, the good senator from Springfield is also correct that this is a policy decision. When I look at this issue, what I am thinking about is if my constituent is in a catastrophic car accident, how is she going to be able to recover her total damages? Her total damages include her medical costs, but her total damages also include her lost wages. The working Oregonians in my district cannot afford to lose three days wages, five days wages, two weeks wages, two months wages. They cannot afford to do that. In 38 other states, individuals are protected from those losses. Call me crazy, but I believe that our constituents here in Oregon should have that same protection when they face a catastrophic loss. Colleagues, Senate Bill 411 is about equity with other states. It's about standing up for our constituents, including our low-income constituents who need this protection more than anyone else. And it's about making sure that our constituents get what they believe that they are paying for when they purchase their insurance. Colleagues, this is a fair bill, it's a smart bill, it's a good bill, and I urge your I vote. Thank you, Madam President.